Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking Crown Camacho is dead. Oh shit. And then Ziza at the end, she said, What are we gonna do with him? Nah. And then you see Lulu's face. Oh my god, yo. Episode six, yo. Episode six. That shit was it was a little spicy. It was a little spicy for the touch. Cause um all right, let's 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 get into it. Let's get into it. So we know that now that Unique is, I guess, part of the family from what Saul was explaining to Raquel. He was like, yeah, you know, he did a thing for me, you know, when he was in prison. And, you know, he's part of family now. So I was like, all right, easy connection there. Right. So now it's basically what everybody's been saying that technically Rock works for the Unique. Basically, her business is his business. It's not even though he explained to Saul, like, it was like, oh, it was a partnership, but it's not really a partnership. It's more like she works for him. <laughs> when they was kind of, like, talking, he was like, yeah, I felt like I'm the one that, like, I guess, punched the buzzer or beat the buzzer. And, uh, like, the way he was explaining it, <laughs> the way he was explaining it, and she was like, nah, this ain't right. This some bullshit. That don't, don't, don't get the fact that, you know, you, you talk a shit. It don't mean nothing. I'm going to come back, you know, but... I thought that segment was pretty nice. I really did. I thought that segment was nice because it's going to set up something really big at the end. It's going to set up something really big at the end. Uh, let's see what we got here. Kanan getting robbed by Freddy. Now, when Freddy robbed Kanan and Famous for the money and for the jewelry, and then Famous, no, when, when Kanan was in Famous' house, he's like, you don't got a knife. You don't got nothing. So, all right, bet. Go to this girl's house. Like, yo, you got a knife? And then the mom. Yo, tell you, yo, the mom is fine, but she ain't right. Cause she, yo, she's over here giving Kanan a gun, and no, and Kanan isn't smart enough to know that what's is the gun has like fingerprints on there. Who gun is that? Like he's not really thinking or asking these questions, but she give him the gun anyway and give him a little kiss on the cheek. I said, man, she fine, but there ain't something ain't right about her. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like something ain't right. Then he goes into Freddy's home. And then he beats the shit out of him. And I'm like, you see? You see? This is this the cane that we starting to see. This is the cane that we remember from power. He beating the shit out of people. And he's doing the things that we remember him to do. So I'm like, oh shit, oh shit. So I thought all of that was pretty nice. I thought that was nice. Um, then as we seen where Kanan was trying to ask Rock, like, yo, Famous is my boy. He got robbed and shit. Like, something has to happen. She's like, son, that's his, his, that's her, that's his problem. And that's his mother's problem. He ain't part of his family. I'm like, you see this shit with Rock doing? You see what the, you see what the fuck she doing? Again, it's more like, I don't give a fuck. It's, if, if his problems isn't affairing into my business, I don't care. And you know what the easy answer it would have been? Okay, Famous got caught. Cops got the money. All right, he has to go. That would have been her um, um logical answer. That would have been it for him. But Kanan calls um, Detective Howard. He's like, okay. Calls Detective Howard. Detective Howard gets him, gets famous out of jail, get the money back. And then, little behold, Shannon sees everything. So now Shannon's immediately going to put two and two together and be like, okay. Uh, Detective Howard, Kanan, that's his son. And then you still have that crackheaded guy who recognized Kanan again. So he's going to spill the beans to Shannon and going to say, like, well, I saw who shot Detective Howard and it was Kanan. So. All of the pieces is already lining up, and she is going to know the truth about what happened. Either she books Kanan, or she approaches Howard about it. But if, if she approaches Howard about this, it's already, her fate is technically already sealed. She's going to die. I, it, it's like, she's doing too much. She's getting way too personal. And as I said in my last review, it's like, she is Icarus. She is flying very, very close to that sun. She's very, she's flying very close, and you know what the hell is gonna happen when you get too close to that sun. Them damn wings, and you're gonna burn the fuck off. Then that's what's gonna happen to Shannon. She's gonna burn the hell up when she's getting too damn close to the damn sun. So it's like, yo, Shannon, God, Lord, yo, what's wrong with you, woman? <laughs> what's wrong with you? But that's quite interesting. That's very interesting. What we we're seeing in the development. I really do like Marvin's character. So, like, there is some slight development with his character because we seen in season one where Rock was like, nah, he's a fuck up, he's a screw up. And as we saw when he was explaining to Kanan, he's like, listen, me and, me and Rock, man, we on good terms right now. She, she let, let Lulu take the heat for that. Fuck that shit. So, 
he's starting to, I guess, change like a little bit. But as we see him starting to change and trying to like, you know, get things back with him and Jukebox, Jukebox is like, nah, I'm not. No, I'm not doing any of that shit. Fuck that. Mm -mm. And as we seen, like, her and her mom is getting more closer. Um, It was interesting to see, like, her friends from season one, like her, um, what you call it? Like her her Robin mates, where they was robbing clothes from from the trucks and stuff. So I was like, oh, okay. We get to see them again for, like, a brief time, for, like, a brief moment. And then um, that's, uh, I mean, we probably will maybe see them again. We probably will see them again. Um, but I thought that, I thought that was nice, right? Uh, but it's just, man, fucking, that ended, like, you thought that fucking ended, he told him, he said, nah, man, you fucked my girl, and then, and then you went behind my back and talked to Rock, and then he just, I'm like, Crown, it was like, it was a given, I didn't even have any, like, predictions of Crown, Actually, no. Actually, I'm wrong. Well, I never said it because I was like, well, maybe Jukebox would do it. But I never really... Maybe I did. I think I probably did. You know me. I'm forgetting shit. But it was obvious that Lulu was going to kill Crown. If it wasn't Jukebox, it was Lulu. So I was like, all right. Because it made sense because he fucked his girl. He he going behind his back and all this other crazy shit. I'm like, damn. Oh, I forgot. Cartier and Fareed. I forgot. So Cartier and Rock, they was talking about business... Like, he's opening up this woman's mind. He like, yo, I got things on lock. I'm weak. Expansion. And she's like, she's learning all of this because that's the thing. Um, Yeah, 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 yeah. Because she was always known to, like, do stuff in the community. It was never to do anything <laughs> beyond. And she's like, yeah, we, we're going to expand. But he's explaining to her how to expand and how he's doing his operation. So I still believe that Cartier Farid is going to be... I guess her her option, like her backup option, because this whole Italians and unique, she, I don't think she's gonna like for for now. For now, she's going with the whole idea and the plan to work with the Italians and unique. But come on, Rock wants to be in charge. She wants to be on top. She does not want to be working for unique. And unique is like, man, Rock, it's great to be working together. Remember that time. Damn you fine. <laughs> he, he, he's talking crazy to her. She like, nah, fuck this shit. I don't, we don't need to be working together. She wants to do her own thing. So I think ultimately she's going to cost this whole deal with the Italians and Unique. Because she she can't settle this. This is going to be too much for us. So she's she's going to cost that. So that's going to be interesting to see. Uh, I also want to know about Kanan. Will we see more of what we saw in this episode? He was beating the shit out of Freddy. I want to know we because we're getting a glimpse of it. We're getting really glimpse of it, and we're starting to see more that famous isn't part. Of, he doesn't want to be a part of anything. He just want to do like fuck women, make music, smoke drugs. Like he's not even trying to like get into any of that. Because when Kanan was beating the shit out of Freddy, he's like, oh shit. He doing too much, and it's like you see, he's not, he's he's like one of these people, one of these rappers where they they rap about gangster shit, rap about a lot of gangster shit, but they're not really in that life like that. So Kanan is starting to grow a little bit because he's like when when famous and him was talking before, um, no, when they got robbed, he was like, man, that's how it is, you know, that's how the world works. He said, not to me, not to me, it don't something gonna have to change. And that's when he did. I personally thought he was going to shoot the man right there. But then it, he he, he just beat the shit out of him. So I was like, yeah, that's the candy we know. <laughs> I was like, that's the candy we know. But, uh, yeah, that shit, was, that shit was good, man. But, you know, drop your, well, yeah, yeah, well, I shouldn't say anything because y'all ain't, ain't see it yet. But when y'all do, when y'all do see it, drop your comments down below and you tell me what y'all think about this episode. Because, frankly, this shit was good. This shit was pretty good. Because, again, that crackhead at the end of the scene, and he recognized Kanan, and I'm like, oh, Lord. It's it's already a wrap because he's going to recognize. I'm like, yeah, I, saw, I remember your face. You was the one that shot him. And, and that's going to be it because Shannon is just, she's just fucking too much. Because I want to talk about this a little bit before we get out of here. When she was going through, like, Detective Howard's files, and she found that, I guess, like, back in the 70s, he was doing, like, he was on the undercover work. I guess at the time, 
because yeah, this was like it, it explained, and I, I guess like a little bit of season one where he was undercover at the time, and I guess because you know, I guess DefCon and yeah, yeah well, yeah, because I, I guess like DefCon and I guess Rock was like running the streets together, but as we know, DefCon wasn't he wasn't into women like that. So, and I guess when Howard was a, a detective and he was undercover, I should say, that's when stuff happened which i think rock explained like yeah there was she had like a little thing for um howard and then that's how kane was born because she had like a little thing for him while he was undercover at the time so all of that's just gonna come up and jesus shannon yo she gonna have to go man. she gonna have to go because she she getting too personal with that shit she getting too personal with damn crown camacho i'm still on that shit Lulu came up in this bitch. He said, nah, son. You over here, you fuck my girl. You, you did some fuck shit. Nah, beat the fuck out of you. Man. Put the rope around. I said, yo, yo, Lulu, chill. But nah, that shit was, nah, that shit was, that shit was crazy. And then fucking Ziza, fucking Ziza. She like, oh, what we gonna do about him? I'm like, Ziza? What? No? What you mean? <laughs> oh, good. Fucking good. I, 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 fucking good. Let me get out of here. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And uh, I catch you all in the next one.